Today, we're going to be doing a showdown between two behemoths when it comes to AI chat models. Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the current industry champion, and its number one competitor, ChatGPT 4.0. We're going to be putting these things through the ringer, determining which one is better at a specific task. We're going to put it through coding, creative writing, problem solving, questions. How well does it do at each one of these individualized steps? And what steps does it actually take to solve the problem or question that I ask it? The rules for this are going to be a little bit arbitrary, but for the most part, we're going to be trying to keep a fair and objective view on the answers, solely focusing on the actual responses that are given and how well they stack up to the intended expectations of what we were going to expect to see. Currently right now, statistically speaking at the very least, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the superior chat model with expectations for its questions to be answered correctly 78% of the time when it comes to ChatGPT, which is roughly in the 73% range. And that 5% may not sound like a lot, but it really is. When it comes to giving accurate information and having these chat models create things accurately with the intended outcome based on the input that was put in, you're going to expect to see everything that you would expect to see 78% of the time with Claude as opposed to 73% with ChatGPT. But in the coming months, I know these fierce competitors are going to continually evolve their programs to make sure that they stand out on top. But for today, we're going to be taking a look at which one is the best right now. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to make a quick shout out to our actual AI newsletter called Neural Frontier that we pump out about once a week. It keeps you up to date with all the latest AI news, tools, everything you need to know to maximize your effective use of all these things AI. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. But now, that being said, let's get into the showdown between ChatGPT 4.0 and Claude Sonnet 3.5. Which one comes out on top? All right, so here we go. Getting right into it, on our left-hand side, we have the challenger, ChatGPT 4.0. And on the right, we have the current industry champion, statistically speaking anyways, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So putting this through the ringer right off the bat, we're going to start with a little bit of creative writing. Now, if you know me personally, you'll know that I love time travel movies. Back to the Future is my favorite. So why not put some sort of time travel themed spin on what we're going to actually throw in here? So let's take two different things of science fiction. Let's ask it to write a short story about a time traveling vampire. Sounds pretty specific, right? So we're going to see exactly which one of these two models does a better job at writing a story about a time traveling vampire or a time machine that's also a vampire or a vampire that... You know what? I'll just let the AI models do the work. Let's get into it. So for both of these, I've put in the prompt, write a short story about a vampire who can time travel, add specific details and make it emotionally grounded. That should give it as open-ended of a start as possible so that it can write an excellent story. Now, Claude 3.5 Sonnet definitely actually goes and creates the stories faster. You'll see once I actually hit the start button here, but let's go and uh, put these in here. We'll put these both in. And uh, yeah, let's get some. And as you can see on the right here, uh, 3.5 Sonnet is absolutely cooking on the speed. And okay. 4.0 is going a little bit longer on us. Wow. 4.0 is actually doing a full story here. Okay, so I'm going to quickly read through these. Now, I am actually a little bit surprised here because I thought 3.5 Sonnet was going to be the clear winner here. And even though it was faster, it doesn't have as much length as what ChatGPT 4.0 wrote. So let me read this here and uh, decide on a winner just based on my arbitrary conditions on what I think is the better story overall. Feel free to let me know down in the comments if you disagree with my decision. Okay, so ChatGPT 4.0 is uh, is pretty pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a story about Alaric, a vampire who's been forgotten for centuries and has been cursed with the ability to time travel. And he meets a woman... Um, whose kindness touched his heart, and now he travels through time trying to save as many lives as physically possible. It's got quite a bit of detail, um, took a little bit longer to write there, um, but we'll compare that to the Claude Sonnet one. Okay, for this one, I can't really pick a winner here. I mean, for the most part, ChatGPT seems like it is the superior one. It's more in depth, more detail, and does go a little bit more into the actual world building of the story, um, and is written very much so like a book. On the other hand, what Sonnet wrote would honestly transition much better into a screenplay, something you would actually see in a movie. The way that it lays out the scene is very much so that of the intro scene of a movie. It doesn't have as much detail in what you would expect to see in a book, rather, but if this was what needed to be transitioned to a movie scene, it would be very easy for me to go and film a movie based on what Claude Sonnet wrote, as opposed to ChatGPT. It just kind of goes on with a lot of the generic things when it comes to making movies. But in terms of the book, there is so much detail in here that it really does a good job. So for this part, I'm just going to say tie. I think both of these have their strengths and weaknesses, but they both bring something to the table. Claude writes faster, but ChatGPT is more in depth. So 
let me know down in the comments. And of course, writing is subjective, so I could be completely wrong on this one, but for this one, I'm just gonna say it's a tie. Okay, so for this next part, I've attached a picture of Zion National Park in all its absolute beauty into this, and I've simply said, what is this? So I'll hit send here and see how it does with the image recognition side of things. So pretty much identical in terms of the actual time it takes for both of them, but definitely what actually happens with the Claude Sonnet part is that there is a little bit more detail in what is said. Whereas ChatGPT just says, this is Zion National Park. This specific viewpoint is likely from Angel's Landing talks about what the park's known for, just gives a general overview of what the park is, as opposed to Claude Sonnet specifically talks about what is actually seen in the image. It's interesting that ChatGPT takes more of an overview approach, just kind of giving a general idea of what is actually in the image and talking about what Zion National Park is and just overview in a general sense. Compare that to Claude Sonnet where it actually takes exactly what the image is and says, yes, this is Zion National Park, but in this image in particular, there are towering sandstone cliffs, a lush green valley, a winding river. It really breaks down all the specific details of what's in the image as opposed to just giving a general overview of what the image is of. So I'm sorry, ChatGPT, but round two has got to go to Claude Sonnet. It just gave me everything that I saw in the image and that general overview which is the best of both worlds. Okay, so for this next part, I've given it a little bit of a complex diagram, basically talking about some sort of software engineering stack, the MERN stack, if you're familiar with it, MongoDB, Express, React, Node. And I've simply said for both models, explain this to me like a five-year-old. Now, me personally, I probably wouldn't be able to explain this to a five-year-old because the concepts are very highly advanced. I'm curious about what both of these chatbots are actually gonna say, not only because are they actually gonna give me a simplified version that I could understand as a five-year-old, but what is the approach that's gonna be taken to actually reach that simplified text? So I'll go ahead and hit submit on both of these here and we'll say, yeah, what do we got? Explain this to me like a five-year-old. Okay, let me take a read through this. Okay, so just looking at this objectively, I gotta say that ChatGPT does honestly a much better job of explaining this to me like a five-year-old. Claude obviously does try and do some sort of variation of it. They talk about how you're building a really cool toy house and it says, this is the front of the house and it has building blocks called React.js, but building blocks called React.js doesn't really give a concept of what this would be to a five-year-old. Compare this to ChatGPT on the other hand, where it says that the analogy is a toy store. The front is the toy store where people can see and pick up the toys. And then for each individual smaller part, it does name HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, but it phrases it in a way that would make sense to a five-year-old. If I was reading the left-hand side version, just as somebody who didn't understand any software engineering, but being the age I am now, this would make a lot more sense to me, as opposed to reading what Sonnet wrote. And I wouldn't really understand that it's the back end's the inside of the house and the toy boxes, the data management, and okay, there's there's helpers inside the house. Doesn't really make as much sense. So the point for this one, it's gotta go to ChatGPT. All right, so for this one, we're bringing out the big guns. I have written a fairly complicated prompt here saying, write a sophisticated front-end function to React that first of all, takes in the value of an array in an object. Secondly, recursively looks through the items in the array and based on the newest one first, based on the add time function, remap these items to an object based on the newest day first and an alphabetical order based on the item's name property. Now, if you didn't follow that at all, that's good. To be honest, I just use a lot of my software engineering knowledge to throw together a prompt that kind of sounds like it makes sense, but ultimately is gibberish. At the end of the day, I wanna see how either of these AI chatbots react when the prompt is not given logically. It doesn't make sense. How can it interpret something that doesn't make sense? Well, let's see which one does a better job at it. Will it ask for further clarification perhaps? Will it need more information? Will it fill in the blanks with its own information or just simply make assumptions? Well, let's take a look and see. Okay, ChatGPT is off to a start. Okay, ooh, 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 okay, ooh, okay. Okay, so just looking at this at first glance, uh, obviously Claude asks, would you like me to explain or break down this code? So simple. Uh, ChatGPT just straight out does the explanation. Uh, but let's take a look here, let's see. Okay, so we have our newest items. Um, and it's interesting, the approach that they take to creating either of these. Uh, it uses React and use memo and does a very, very complicated use memo. Wow. I'm just gonna take a quick look through the code here and just see which one is the best. Okay, after taking a deep dive into both of these codes, I can say that Claude definitely has the much more sophisticated code out of either of these. ChatGPT, it simply did exactly what it was told. It created it in the most simplified way possible while still being the most efficient and easy to read, and it gets the job done. 
What Claude does, on the other hand, is much, much, much more sophisticated in the technologies that it pulls. And more specifically, like I mentioned earlier, it does make a couple of assumptions. It does bring some things in from TypeScript and it does bring things in from UseMemo, whereas ChatGPT just does the basic requirements needed to have this code run as efficiently and simply as possible. Claude does the most efficient efficient as possible with the most complicated structure. So for this one, I have to give my point to Claude just because it actually understands and makes assumptions on specific coding aspects to bring in and ultimately delivers the best code out of either of these two. Well, there we go. I think we have a verdict. In this, I can successfully say that, yeah, I'm pretty sure Claude 3.5 is the better chat model overall. That's not to say that ChatGPT 4.0 isn't as sophisticated though. Claude just gives more detailed responses and especially when it comes to coding, can write much more sophisticated code. So for this aspect of it, it actually works better than ChatGPT does. But since both these models are free and are continuing to evolve over time, there are certainly gonna be some use cases that ChatGPT performs better in than Claude does. So honestly, trying it out to determine what your specific use case is gonna be and which model performs more efficiently is the best way to do it. And again, they're both free, so try them out. That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Josh Bounton, and I'll see you in the next one.